Hi. Um, so again, um, just to continue with the tutorial about mixing traditional and digital um, using Autodesk Sketchbook Pro. Um, I'm just going to do a, a little another one just because I'm enjoying it and also so you can see yourself. So remember to add a layer again and so this is your top layer with your image from your traditional drawing. So again I'm going to add this drawing I did in Montreal in Canada and um, just position it. So we're going to do this and this time we're going to do these two images on the right and I'm going to, it's a bit like a comic, yeah? So what I'm going to do is crop it like so. Then I'm going to take it down there. Actually, no, first take this level to multiply. So remember when you take it to multiply, then you can see through the white, yeah? So let's take it to backgrounds. Okay, and choose a brush and then start painting away. So again, nice loose effect that, I'm, that I like, I personally like. I, I like loose artistic expressive work rather than tight digital work. Yeah, At art college we were always, especially in the first year, we were always encouraged to be very loose. Yeah. So I'm just paint the sky in, so it's a blue, very quickly, just to show you how quickly you can do this. I mean, you might be making a quick comic strip, yeah? So you could draw with the black and white images, and then, you know, just quickly get the color down, just do it very, very quickly. So I'm going to do this as quickly as possible, because I'm actually boiling some pasta, and I can hear it, so I'm a bit worried about um, what that what might happen there so okay so i'm going to um get this get this done quickly right so let's get a as quickly as possible so let's try and rub this out yeah get the three okay so that's the sky um right now we're going to get the red i'm gonna make this <coughs> this person here wear red so it looks it stands out you know red's a warm color stand out it's quite quite interesting and again these these look quite loose and almost like mono prints yeah so you could use it in a, a sort of an avant-garde comic or something like that and then we've got the nice yellowy red lamppost color that I mentioned that you get in America or Canada even because this is Canada um, obviously yeah so paint that but um, the USA has similar colored um, lampposts to Canada um, so there you go there's that just add a very quick red light in the right place of course not on the top the, the bottom and um, then it's starting to look like a very very quick loose almost artsy um, comic and um, that's it, I think. Okay, so I just save that. But um, thanks very much for watching, and tune in soon for more, more tips and hints about art, design, everything. Okay, cheers. Thanks a lot. Bye.